Hi, I am Judy Thomas. I'm an NCLEX teacher for Kaplan. I am so excited you're joining me today on how to prepare for your NCLEX exam in just 30 days. So, but I wanna be really clear. It's not something to take lightly. It's not something to rush through. This is a journey, not a sprint. But here's what you need to do and how to get started. You've got to have a plan, a really good plan. So what I want you to think about is it's like another class you're taking in school. No skipping, no procrastinations. A good plan that you can follow, a realistic one. Very tangible, that's gonna be your success. So first you need to decide when's your test date. Once you have that test date, I need you to put it on a calendar have a piece of paper with 30 days on it with that end date in mind and once you have that calendar ready to go with the end date in mind your next step now is you need to be realistic with what you're going to put on there so i want you to start first with if you have a job put when you work on there if you have family obligations put them on there and also put some time with family or friends if you know you're going to need a break once you have that all filled in by times, now you can actually put in when you're going to study for tests. So take the time now and you will go through it and plan for testing. But when you do that, I wanna be clear. So when you take the test on there, and let's say it's one and a half hours, you also gonna have to plan for the remediation part, which is that reviewing you do after, which I can't stress enough, is the most important thing to do. So that reviewing is going to take three times more than the actual test. So if you have a test that's an hour and a half, you're going to need to schedule four and a half hours to remediate. This is the time where you learn. You learn so much about what went on in that test so that you do better with the next test. Because your goal is to improve with each test you do. I want you to think about it when you're going through remediation. You want to ask yourself, Wait, did I not know the content very well? And if that's true, you're gonna to wanna to now take time to watch the videos, maybe look some information up, etc. You might wanna also ask yourself, well, did I not get the topic right? Was I totally off topic? The topic is so important to get. Make sure you ask yourself, should I say, but, or well, what if? If you did those things, you totally recreated the question and that will get the answer wrong. Remember, the person who wrote the question did not use your same buts and what ifs, so don't go there. Don't change the story. You also want to ask yourself while you're studying in there, did you change your answer choice? If you changed your answer choice, why? You went off topic again. And never, ever bring in personal experience to the test. That's a big no-no. Personal experience is not the same for each person, so that will never be part of your NCLEX exam. The other thing to think about is as you're doing the test, if there's a point in the test where all of a sudden you find that when you're remediating, you miss more than four in a row, if you miss more than four in a row, that's key to tell yourself, I'm kind of drifting away. So you need to memorize then, boy, if I get to question 20, I seem to all of a sudden start missing them. You know when to take your breaks now in your study time. Very important to think about that. So that's how you're gonna look at putting the information on your four week time span to get studying for this test in 30 days. But I want you to remember a little bit about your environment when you're studying. So important to create a realistic environment as if you're like taking the actual NCLEX. No food, no drinks, none of those. And don't look up the questions um, while you're in the midst of studying because you can't do that in the NCLEX. Thing. So remember, develop a plan, stick to it because those are very, two very different things. That is key to your success. And I'm gonna tell you, I know you got this, you can do it. You need to know positively that you have this. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm looking forward to you joining the nursing family.